Well, sorry to repeatedly show you all these settings, but I just want to give you an idea of all these settings. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in ProTech Station. It's great to see you all. Today I am going to share to you all that I got some RGB LED video lights from Amazon. I think they are pretty cool lights so that's why I want to share to you all and uh, to let you see the effects of the lights. By the way, I'll be leaving links on the bottom of the description if you are curious, interested or would like to learn more, please feel free to check them out. So in this video, I will do a little unboxing and review and also give you my personal feedback of the pros and cons of these lights. And also please stay tuned if I will be keeping these lights for my personal use as well. So without further ado, let's kick it off with the unboxing. Okay, so let me open the box. So here is the RGB LED lights. The size is not that big. It's like the size of the palm of my hand right here. And the cool thing about this is uh, it comes in a pair. And this is the user manual right here. And this is the tripod stand for the lights. And this is the other tripod stands of the light. It's a adjustable height and it's about two feet tall. So the arm length um, of this uh, tripod is like arm length, so it's around two feet tall. And let me try to install the LED lights on the stand right here. And it's a uh, adjustable angle right here. And uh, it doesn't come with AC adapter, so uh, I'm using this um, ECACC power bank to uh, power these lights right here. I'll be also uh, leaving links on the bottom of the description for this uh, power bank if you are interested. And let me turn them on right here. And this is the button for changing different colors lights. Purple, red, flashing random. These are pretty cool uh, lights, you know, um, the LED can actually change color. So you can use it for multiple purposes, um, creating special effects or uh, run a show in the party or something like that. As you can see, the sequence of the LED is changing colors. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool light show. There are so many variations of uh, the color changing. And I notice on the control right here, you can also uh, control the brightness actually. So this is from uh, white to yellow lights and on the other one, oh, and there's a filter right here. So I'll remove it and let you see without the filter. And this is the brightness control right here. And I'll let you check out some uh, different colors uh, without the filter. One thing that I noticed, if you are on the RGB random mode, like right now, you can't adjust the brightness for some reason. So I'll uh, put it on the stand right here and fire them up and let you see uh, what it looks like. And this is a green color, blue color, dark blue.
I just do a, another set of uh, colors to let you see how it looks like on the stand. So you get a general idea of how these lights will look like on the stand here. These are the random fusion colors. As you can see, it's moving around. It's pretty cool. Blinking, blinking, moving around. Like I said, it's a it's a pretty cool light show uh, device. I'll turn off the lights right here and let you actually see it in action. With the light turns off, you can really see a huge difference of these lights. And this is random mode. See, see when the lights is off, uh, you can really see the effect. It's like, it's like disco or something, right? You know, it's flashing left and right. It's it's pretty amazing if you have the lights turns off. There are so many uh, variations that you can uh, adjust. Well, um, one thing, when you are on this random mode, you cannot adjust the brightness. So I will also try to uh, show you how it looks like if you uh, shoot this directly to a wall. So uh, as you can see, uh, it will create some uh, effects uh, on the wall. Um, some people uh, like to add some color to their wall while they're shooting and this light is actually a really good light check this out it's like you can turn your room into like a red room you know like the, one of those you know uh, when you do the film and stuff like that It just add a really nice touch of colors uh, to the wall if you are planning to use this as a uh, color wall color changing uh, light show. This is a random light. As you can see, the shadow of the tripod, it's moving. So it creates some special cool effects right here. So after doing an unboxing and demonstration of these LED uh, RGB lights, let's actually turn off my main softbox light. I will use this to light up my video to see if it's powerful enough to do a video recording using these lights right here. And also I will play with it and add some of the RGB color effects to see if the overall light quality to see if it's usable or not. Okay, so I have turned on my main softbox light and just use these uh, LED RGB lights right here. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think uh, of the comparison of these lights compared to my uh, regular softbox lights. I am actually using one of these uh, LED uh, RGB lights right here. And uh, I have another second one right here and I will turn on to let you see is there a difference uh, in the light quality wise. So what do you think? So I will use this one as the main light and this one as like a special effect or a special coloring light to see if I can create a different type of style or mood uh, by using these lights right here. Okay, so this one, I'm using a white light uh, shining my face and also try to use a red uh, light shining the wall and see if you can see like a red background or stuff. I'm not an expert of video lighting, but willing to uh, play around to see uh, if you guys can see uh, a difference and stuff like that. And this is green light right here. And this is a light green light. 
and this is a light blue and this is a darker blue and this is kind of like a light purple and this is back to red and now I'm playing the random lights And now I am using the other lights to uh, change the color to shoot my face and this is all red right here. And now I change it to green. And this is dark green. And this is light blue. And this is blue. Light purple. And this is the random uh, RGB lights. Uh, Well, sorry to repeatedly show you all these settings, but I just want to give you an idea of all these settings so you have a better feeling of how these lights will turn out to be. All right, after all these demo, please stay tuned for the pros and cons conclusion for these uh, RGB LED lights. And also, most important, will I be keeping these lights for my personal use? If you like the video, please feel free to leave a comment below and hit the like button if you like the video, which helps and support the channel big time. Also, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification if you wanted to stay tuned for any future videos. And last, if you like the video, please also feel free to share this video to families and friends, which I am very greatly appreciate for spreading the word out. All right, now it's for the pros and cons conclusion for these RGB lights. Let's go with the pros first. So the first pros of these lights, it's really affordable, it doesn't break your bank. Second pros of these lights, it's really lightweight, compact, so you can bring it everywhere. And then the third pro of these lights, it can change color so you can set the different types of uh, mood or environment that you like these lights to be. So the fourth pro of these lights, it comes with the stand and you can also adjust the different angles so it's a pretty convenient feature. And the last pros of these lights, it's powered by USB so you can actually power these lights with a power bank or you can plug it into your power brick or whatever. It's uh, really convenient so uh, th it doesn't use up uh, that much power uh, so you can take it anywhere you want so it's a pretty uh, cool uh, feature. And now it's time for the cons of these lights. The first cons of this light, I noticed it's not really that bright. I guess due to the size form factors of these lights, so that's why it's not that bright. But if you put the light close enough, it does get the job done. So for portability wise, it's good, but uh, I wish it could be a little bit more brighter. But again, for the size, for the light that it can reproduce, uh, I think it's really good. Uh, but if, you, if I have to nitpick, uh, I wish it could be a little bit brighter. So the second cons of these lights, it doesn't come with AC adapter. So uh, out of the box, you cannot use it. So uh, you have to either have your own uh, power brick or uh, power bank to power these lights. But these days, most people at home have a few of these power brick laying at home. So uh, I don't think it should be that big of a problem. So it would be kind of nice if they can include some kind of power brick inside the box so you can use this light out of the box. And the third cons of these lights, um, I noticed when you are on RGB random mode, not like RGB mode, but on RGB random mode, while it's uh, randomly showing you different color lights, uh, doing light show and stuff, at that mode, you cannot adjust the brightness of these lights. So it might be a little bit harsh for some people because it's using full brightness blasting in your face or your uh, object. So to overcome that flaw, you would have to play with the distance of the light. So either uh, pull it further or closer as to your liking. But to me, I think that's a con. So uh, please keep in mind. But the other settings like the white or yellow light or the regular RGB lights, you know, the solid like red, green, blue, uh, whatever lights, those you can adjust the brightness, but on the random RGB mode, you cannot. So the final cons of these lights, I find it kind of hard to open these legs of these tripod stands right here. So every time I try to open it, I afraid that I will break it or something like that. Once you get a hang of it, it's really not that hard to open, but just to be where my initial experience is kind of hard to uh, open these stands. So maybe it's just me, but if I have to nitpick, uh, the stand is kind of hard to expand. And now the most important question, will I be keeping these lights for my personal use? And the answer is yes. 
Even though there are pros and cons, but after evaluating the whole package and my personal circumstance, I will be keeping these lights for my personal use because um, I think these lights will be a good portable travel lights if I need to do a video shot in my car during nighttime i can use these lights and i'm sure it's pretty bright you know to do uh, get the job done or if i really have to do a uh, video shoot outside at nighttime um, at least i have two of these so i i think it should you know get the job done and plus um since the rgb random mode you can change different lights and stuff like that i think it's a pretty cool party light you know even though i'm i'm not a party guy but um i think um it's something good to have. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed today's content. And if you liked the video, you may feel free to share this video to families and friends, which I am greatly very appreciate. You may also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links will be on the bottom of the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Today, I am going to share to you all that I got some L. Today I am going to share Today I am going to share to you all that I got some um Today I am going to share to you all that I got some LED lights